Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. So here we've got two pieces of bread. Just like any grilled cheese recipe, we're going to smear it with butter. But we're only going to smear one piece with butter. The other, we're going to use a biscuit punch and cookie cut a hole in the bread. Just like so. But we're not going to butter this bread. So we've got one buttered and one punched. In the skillet we've got melted butter and we're going to put in our hole punched bread and crack one egg in for our eggs in a basket. Now let's get some salt and a little bit of pepper. In a few minutes we're ready to turn. Now that is some gorgeous color. Now this is when you want to throw down your cheese and you want to do it immediately because that side we just flipped is still hot. So it's going to help it melt faster. Then we'll just top it off here with our buttered piece of bread and just wait it out here for another minute. Once that's good to go, we're going to flip it back to the other side so the other bread can cook. Also help melt that cheese, of course. But you can see our eggs cooked and our basket looks great. Now we'll go ahead and throw that on a plate and let it chill for a minute while we cook our donut hole. Again, just a little bit of butter and we'll throw in that donut hole. Just a quick turn on each side and get some color, no big deal. Now one of my favorite things to do with this grilled cheese eggs in a basket is dump sausage gravy, country gravy, whatever you got. Let's have it. I'm going to cut this sucker right open here in the center. So you can see it's ooey, cheesy, and gooey. Yeah, just like that. Doesn't that look good? That's right. Now a little side gravy, put our donut hole in, and there you have it. Grilled cheese egg in a basket right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.